Good morning, friends, and it's a joy to be with you again this morning. Several years ago, I had the opportunity to be in Toledo, Spain, and uh, a few centuries ago in Toledo, Spain, there lived a great uh, Greek artist uh, named El Greco, of course, El Greco the Greek. And uh, walking around the cathedral in Toledo and some other spots, we had a chance to view his paintings. There was a period of time in El Greco's uh, painting career where he uh, had a particular style of uh, dividing his canvas between a lower portion and an upper portion. And the most striking example of that is uh, one of his most famous paintings called The Death of the Count. In that painting, if you look in the lower half of the painting, you will see a death of a nobleman. Uh, he is in a casket. Uh, he is uh, richly dressed out in noble array. His uh, grieving family and friends are all around him, and it's very evident from the painting that they belong to a, a, a definitely the upper class, the clothes, the jewelry, the rings. Uh, around, uh, around the family are the leading princes of the day and the, and the princes of the church as well. And uh, everyone is in a state of mourning. And uh, the picture as you look at it is, of course, one of sadness and grief. Then as your eyes shift to the upper half of the painting, uh, the scene changes dramatically because in the upper half, the nobleman is no longer dead in a casket, but instead he is alive and he is being born into the presence of God on the, uh, through the, through the uh, convoy of angels, escorting him into the presence of God. And the faces on the upper side, unlike the faces on the lower side, are all filled with joy. It was El Greco's way of saying that in life's tapestry, for every lower scene, there is a corresponding upper scene if we will have the eyes to see it. I think of that as we begin to approach the Easter season, and with Easter just a few weeks off, we come to the lower scene, an event called Calvary, when Jesus uh, is crucified on the cross, and it looks like God's redemptive purposes in Jesus Christ are defeated with him, and all looks as though it were lost. In fact, there's a famous sermon that says, uh, reminds us, it's, it's Friday, but Sunday's a coming. And Sunday, Easter Sunday, is the upper side, it's when we look at uh, what God does in vindicating Jesus by rising him again from the dead. Perhaps there's a lower scene in your life today, and you're not able to look at the upper scene of what uh, God is going to accomplish through a difficult season in your own life. But when you follow Jesus Christ, you know that there is always an upper side. He is the one who gives us hope. He is the one who walks us through difficulty and sorrow and trouble. We can be confident of his presence because as followers of his, we always know that he is working things together for good. God bless you today.